Oliver Ross is a great, great friend of the castle. If you can, please load this up in the background. Let it play all the way through while we watch it together. Uh, we've watched Ross's video before, so he's totally cool with us watching it. Um, but throw it on the background. Watch it all the way through. But let's watch it together. Uh, because all of our friends are in here, and this was so much fun. And I can't wait to see how it edit got edited. Uh, so throw it on in the background. Let it play through. Don't forget to subscribe to Ross. He's amazing. Always some of the best content. So much fun to watch. Let's see what we got. In this video, I invited some of the coolest VTubers I know and challenged them to create combinations of themselves with one another. And Such a good last idea. Time we did a VTuber drawing challenge video. You guys love to point out that I had too much flesh and blood. Wait, does muting affect views? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You could just, you know what you, sh you should do? Here's a tip, actually. Here's a tip. At least for Twitch and probably for YouTube as well. What, what you should do. If you want to give people views, if if there's like a few streams on at the same time, if you want to give people views and you're on desktop, what you should do is you should mute the tab. Go up to the tab and right click the tab. So you see these tabs up here? Right click and mute the tab if you want it running on in the background. That way, if you want to support multiple people at the same time, that's what I, I have like seven Twitch streams. I think... I think the max that Twitch like allows that counts as a viewer is what, like three or four, I think. You can just mute the video. I, I've, I've heard, I've heard that on Twitch, it does not count. It does not count as a view. So if you take this like volume toggle and you shift it down, it does not count it as, as a view. At least within the last few months, I've heard that that does not count as a view. I don't know if YouTube is the same, but at least for Twitch, it does not count as a view. I don't know if that's changed, uh, so I just mute the tab. Yeah. Oh, you think Twitch reversed it? Yeah, they they definitely could have oh. could have reversed it, but I I just do it to be safe. You know what I mean? Like if all my homies are on on and like streaming, I'll just still mute the tab just to be safe. It's it's easier too. It's easier. So I went ahead and designed a VTuber of my own. Oh, Twitch and confirmed that it does count. Okay, cheap. good, good. So maybe consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. I'm going a little sweaty on the first one, but I, I might get a little goofy as we go on because I want this to just take 10 years. <laughs> oh, candy! Oh, this one, this one ought to be fun. I'm excited to do this. Excited Didn't to he spend hours on the thumbnail? Yeah, I think he did, man. The, the thumbnail that he made for this is really fucking insane. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I saw him drawing it the other day. Yeah, the one with uh, Mouse and Yen. It's really sick. I think mine saved. Oh my god, I'm drawing a really goofy candy, but it actually looks really cute. You made a goofy us. Yeah, you, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Ross's 3D model is so good, man. I think I have probably the easiest job of anyone because my VTuber is literally a fat little goblin and it's so easy to draw. <laughs> and I'm literally just going to be turning it. everybody else into fat little goblins, except for the <laughs> I'm somebody. so excited to see it's all perfect. of that. Yeah. Oh, man, this was such a weird mix of people, fun. man. <laughs> Art gun me is the rub gun. <laughs> I Damn, don't like that. I do not like that. That sounds like a. This was fun. I really want to do something like this again. Oh hell yeah! I got bugs. Yay. It was one of those streams where like nothing made sense until the reveal. You know, like we were drawing for like hours and hours. Rose Doodles, Rubber Ross, Ross Doodle. It's Love the Niji Bros, dude. Every Rub every Niji no, Sanji guy I've hung out with, doodle, I'm okay? I'm such a fan oh, of. I wanna, I, please I please let please rub the doodle. I think that's it. I think that I think okay, I think any fine. any name other than that is cowardly. Okay, it's, it's... I really want to do a collab, man. I, I'm not gonna lie. I really want to do a collab with Albin. Albin is my favorite Niji Sanji guy, hands down. I fucking love Albin Knox with all my heart, dude. I love that guy. I've done a few streams with Albin and he he is just you know when you meet someone and they have the same humor and like they laugh and you laugh at all of their jokes because you just riff so so nicely. Dude, that's Albin, bro. I, I want to do something with Albin. Albin and Fulgore. I, I fucking love Fulgore. God damn. Vox was really cool to meet too, yeah. I definitely want to do like more shit with Vox. <laughs> yeah. Get to know him a little. It, it was hard to talk to him because there were so many people, you know. My girlfriend. Okay. Giwi, Giwi, I put a lot of effort into uh, our fusion. Oh, I'm very excited. All right. I'm Me too. Wait, I will name the. Uh, yeah, Fulgore is awesome. What's it called? 
<laughs> Rossi? Ruby? Rossi? Okay, Ruby. Ruby, I like Ruby. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ruby's good. Hey, oh, Flo. Let's go. <laughs> I love Ross's version of me, man. Hey, Flo Fusion. He's hot. It's Holy beautiful. Shit. Oh, beautiful. Shit. Oh, God. Dang. What are you cooking with, man? Let's see. Oh, let's wait till we see this. You're going to be so shit, proud man. of your boy. Oh, no, I'm proud. I'm proud. Oh, All right, God. Apple. <laughs> okay, I got mouse. This will be easy. Did you get me? Lord, can you move to the other side? Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad, bro. Hold up, hold up. I got you. Fruit time. Let me do this, too. Hold up. Dude, I can make it look like I'm watching like that. That's so fucking and sick. We're done. Okay. There we go. We're done. Uh, is everybody ready? I don't think to I'm going to use my 2D model models. anymore, man. It's been a while. Huzzah. Huzzah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I think All so. right. Let's hop into oh, it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm very, very I'm excited. ready. I'm terrified. Okay, Rubber Ross. Oh, Here we go. Ross has turned out so good. Like all of his. Oh, is so oh, Harka's distinct art style is so cute. Oh, damn. Oh, I like that. I think the eye candy was using a mouse as well. Oh, God. Mouse's art style is so cute. Oh, I'm going even further beyond, dude. Oh Gremlin, that's so cute. Dude, fruit, fruit is a fucking psychopath, dude. Fruit is so goddamn cracked at art. It it hurts my eyes. It's so beautiful. Her style is so good. Jesus, man. That's incredible. Fruit has like probably one of my favorite art styles. Such a good idea. Aww. Jesus, no, Aww. Oh, I love that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I will say it was nice having Vox there because he's just as shitty as me, bro. <laughs> that was that made me feel good. That definitely made me feel good. <laughs> I needed at least one person as shitty as me. <laughs> Thank God. I want to suck your blood. Oh. Rubber small. Oh. Okay, I don't think people understood what what I drew oh, here, man. Oh, everyone, oh my God. everyone thought I was it's Ross digging in his pants. No, dude, he's he's looking up a word in the dictionary and he's pointing at the book. You know what I mean? Like he's pointing so hard at the book that his fingers like poking through. Because Ross is a helpful guy. Every time I've met Ross, is he's been such a nice guy. Like, if I was like, yo, Ross, I'm trying to form this sentence. I don't know which word to use. This is the picture I was drawing. Because, I, you know, when I got Ross, I was like, okay, how can I portray Ross? Like, I know Ross has helped me out a lot. He's been, like, really nice. I'm just trying to think, like, okay, if I'm trying to speak and form a sentence, I'd probably call Ross and be like, yo, what word should I use right here? And he'd pull out and he'd whip out his massive hulking fucking throbbing dictionary and be like Poosh. oh right here man you know what i mean just whip out that giant dictionary so i feel like people got it kind of confused with what i was drawing man so i just wanted to get that out of the way what am i looking at shit dude what what is that <laughs> i'm not gonna lie hearing that cacophony of madness and fucking confusion and dis dis disturbance disturbing disturbing the flock disrupting the flow of water be between all the oh it's so cute Ooh, that's nice hearing all the oh my god what the fuck is that that looks horrible jesus take it away <laughs> good Listen. Listen. Yes. Yes. A word in the dictionary. Dude, me and Yen actually talked. I don't think we actually said this in stream. Me and Yen talked. We said, bro, what if we trolled so hard and just drew. Like, you know the notebook from, uh, here, let me pull it up. You guys know the notebook from American Psycho? <laughs> let me see if I can find a picture. <laughs> this picture. <laughs> 
this one. Me and Yen were like, what if, what if, what if we just drew pictures like that the whole time? I didn't think she would actually do it. I didn't think she'd actually do it. Oh my god. Oh, you can't show that on stream? Wait, show what, bro? Show what I did? We were just watching this Rubber Ross video. Oh, Aethel, you know that was brown, right? Yeah, what the heck? Huh? That was brown. <laughs> That's like doo-doo brown. Okay. That is doo-doo brown. I mean, I, I, did I, it. I, literally, I have no idea what color is on. Wait, is that actually brown? Is that actually brown? Uh, I, I'm downloading all of these. I don't even these. know what color you are, Ross. <laughs> you are doo-doo brown. Wow. Yeah, I don't think about color, guys. You are alarmingly colorblind, but I love it. It's very. When unique. I meet someone, the, the last thing I think about is what color they are. I don't know, man. I don't care. What am I supposed to be the? Co I'm not the color guy. I don't give a crap. You're like a Van Gogh of the of the modern age. I love Yance for mm -hmm. the most. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, Yance is so good. Right up my alley. Yeah, it looks That's like the kid now. that might have been possessed the by the Antichrist. Uh, with art up on the fridge, I love it. Woo I don't see color, man. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh no. Let's hell see. Yes. So I, I I wanted to do like this rebirth oh, yeah. thing, right? You know, Haruka just <laughs> Haruka just became uh, there, there, there's like layers to this stuff, guys. Haruka just became the newest member of Vishojo, right? And she's oh. a she's a nature spirit. She's she was birthed in nature, and I, I wanted a, a, like a vaginal tree to birth her back into the world and, and like a butterfly bursting out of a cocoon and showing its beauty all over the world and i wanted to portray that with a, a vaginal tree opening up birthing our, our our lovely amazing i mean everyone loves haruka birthing this beautiful uh beast and force of nature into the world uh and then i drew bradley down here just because he's cute and that's Bradley right there. What is it's symbolic, man? That shit's symbolic. It's beautiful, man. It's it's a beautiful story. Haruka is birthed back in as a V Shoujo member to spread joy to everyone in the world. It's it's symbolic, man. That's adorable. Oh All that. I'm saying is I'm so glad that Vox was there too, man. <laughs> Shout out Vox. And <laughs> Forest puppy. I love it. Forest oh my god! Hi, look at that. We become smug. Oh, oh my, my, oh my, my. Yeah, Yo Clash is really cracked too. I I love Snuffy's art. We, we've done like two big drawn collabs like this, and Snuffy's art is always so interesting. Fruit, Fruit's art is just consistently a banger, like consistently amazing. You know, with like I, I, but I really like I really like Nyan and Snuffy's art because you never know what you're gonna get. Snuffy's is really cute. Nyan's Nyan's could go like really cute or really fucking cursed. So I like Nyan's art for that. Fruits, fruits is just consistently cracked. Like it's, it's always gonna look professional. Great portraits. Oh my god. Yeah. What the heck, fruit? Others, <laughs> why would the others do? Oh god. Oh fuck. Please don't. Oh, 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 oh Mouses is so cute. Look at my little pony. That's so cute. That's so cute. Giwuku. Whoa. Haruku. What the fuck? That was my last one too. That Man, I, so I love I love Haruku. Are you guys big Haruku fans? I'm a, I'm a huge Haruku fan. <laughs> I'm a I'm a huge Haruku fan. <laughs> Do you remember when the announcer called her that <laughs> at the Twitch Rivals? <laughs> Here here's our girl on the big stage. <laughs> Uh, number three, uh, Huruku. Oh, love it, love it. My drawing, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's bad. I can't wait. Huruku Gaipan. 
I, I didn't realize how good everyone else was at art, and so we've just got everyone with this real talent and me and Ethel just shaking hands. Oh, 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 Dude, mouses is so good. I love mouses. I love like that. What would you even call that? Like a, it's almost like a sports bra kind of like top like that. That shit looks fucking sick with the ripped ass abs. WWE wrestler. Oh, <laughs> oh, Buff pups is cracked. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, man. Never mind. Never mind. I love that. Dude. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm just saying fruits looks good. Fruits looks really good. Yeah. I love that. Dude. Yeah, she kept the pointy chin, yeah. I love that one. That's cool. I like that pose a lot. I really like that pose. Wow. Damn, dude. Yes. The big boob. Snuffy, Snuffy's art always just has like a really unique charm to it. I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this real fast. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me move myself over here a little bit. That way, it's not. Sorry, sorry. There we go. I don't want to cut off the model. Okay. Sorry about that. Jeez, thanks guys. So oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, it's art. Art. I love art. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Ross's is so good. Give me a bit of a giga chat. Right back. You didn't disappoint, brother. Oh my god. Oh, oh, like <laughs> look at the eyes on the pauldrons. <laughs> they look they kinda look like rabbits. You're really hot on that one. Aww. That is fucking adorable. I like the color scheme. I actually really like the, the color scheme on this and like the draped. Maybe if I ever do a costume change, I, I kind of want to use this as in, inspiration. I want to have a model that's like a little bit more covered up. You know what I mean? I don't want to show off the goods too much. Uh, I, I really like uh, like that drapey, drapey kind of look. I think that's what I would do for like a new outfit for sure. It's awesome as hell, dude. Bro, I want to save all these. These are amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh Jesus. God. I love it. I want to frame all of them. Oh <laughs> Unsubscribe. All right. All right. All right. This is, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> nice, man. This shit makes me so happy, bro. Mousy. This was really fun. Let's see what you got. Yeah, let's go. Iron I'm mouth. excited. I'm Iron excited. Mouth. Iron mouth. Iron mouth. Iron mouth. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me move. I am the captain now. <laughs> Gibby so makes everything look so shiny. I love that. I love ours. Oh my Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my my favorite. Nyanza is hands down my favorite for this. Like 100%. I love the outfit. It's so cute, dude. It's so fucking cute. Wow. Oh, Mousers yeah. is such a cute name, too. That's cute. Yeah, it's rubber mouse. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Iron, oh, that's so cute. Cute. Oh, this is cute as fuck. Oh, big deals. Aw, these are so good. <laughs> big deals. Oh, Iron Mousers. Arcos is always so cute, like man. So cracked. I don't know how fruit does it so fast. Yeah. Oh, Little shy pose. All right, guys. Okay, please. Big pharma. Big mouse. We're taking them down. This is um. Again, this is another commentary, guys. This is deeper than it seems. Okay. Uh, what is it, Garfield? Yeah, yeah. It's giving me heavy Garfield yes. vibes. So, Aethel, could you explain what we're looking at? So, on on the left again. This is deeper. This is deeper than it looks, guys. This this is a this is. I'm I'm trying to say some things with this art. Okay. I'm I, I, I I'm not the best with words, so sometimes I have to get it out with my art. Okay. It's the only way I can express how I feel about how the world works. 
You got mm-hmm. like the, the big pharma of mouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got Ma- Mickey Mouse, mm-hmm. computer mice. Uh, yes. <laughs> talking to your, you know, okay. your Logitech, all that crap. Mm-hmm. And then Chuck E. Cheese at the bottom. It's deep. Everybody can say he's a fucking mouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the real, the real mouse, Lord Ironstan, is uh, standing up to him. Okay. That's right. It's, it's, oh, a, yeah. it's a commentary on standing up, up to the man. Yeah. yeah. I see it. Oh, yeah. And the message oh, yeah. being lost. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It gives me awkward being a hunger force vibe. Yeah. It does. It really does. <laughs> it does. That's a compliment. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, guys. It's 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 all about in a world of in a world of big mouse. Okay. I mean, you got the biggest corporation in the world, right? Disney. Okay. In big in the world of big mouse, sometimes you'll feel like the little guy, right? Oh, I can't really make any moves. I'm just a tiny mouse. I'm just a little itty bitty mouse. How can I stand up to big mouse? Big pharma mouse. I'll tell you how. You get a fucking sword and you get a Glock and you start going crazy, man. That's how you stand up, dude. Now, obviously not literally, okay? That's illegal, okay? The sword and the Glock here is your pen, your paper, your video camera, maybe your school books. Uh, an iron will. Okay. I want you to stab people, metaphorically, with hard work. I want you to shoot someone in the fucking head with, with work ethic. I want you to fillet someone's insides, big pharma, big corpa, with consistency. Okay. Does that make sense? I want you to go psycho and win. You got it? Metaphorically, in Minecraft. Daddy likes. Sounding very American. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this is this is some this is some Pablo Picasso, uh, Italian art, man. There's there's a lot of meaning behind this, guys. Basically, it means no matter what's standing in your way, you could, you could have the biggest company standing in your way. You feel like a little guy. Stand up. Grab your arms and get to work. 3 a. I want you to go to sleep at 2 a.m. and wake up at 1 a.m. Okay, go back in time. You're sleeping too much. That's what like every motivational speaker says, man. Go to sleep at 2 a.m. Wake back up at 1 a.m. Go back in time. Stop sleeping. Uh, you, you should I bend time? Yeah. Why aren't you bending time yet? I want you to phase shift. Uh, listen, I. I I'm just in uh, Psych 101. I just needed some motivation to study for my midterms. I want you to cut your arm arms off and eat your insides. Um, I just need to get a, a C or a B to just pass the class, so my dad doesn't uh, take away my rent my rent payments. I want you to <laughs> stop moving. Oh. <laughs> I want you to bench press two tons. Exactly. Uh, hunger force vibes. Yeah, for sure. Mm. So that's what I was trying to say, guys. Beautiful. Here we oh go. God. Oh god. I can't wait to see these. Let's see it. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. Dude, that is so good. That is so good. Fruit is insane at art, man. That one's so good. That's really sick. Oh damn. Oh, oh, like the one horn. That's that's yeah. fucking cute. Oh. That's cool. That looks like a D&D like OC art. Oh. Oh my god, those eyes. Dude, fr- <laughs> fruit's so right. Bro, this was just an excuse for Buff Pup to draw furry versions of all of her friends, man. <laughs> Buff Pup got her wish, man. <laughs> And you know what? I gotta thank her, dude. She she did a goddamn good job. Yeah, I'm a dapper little gentleman. You're trash, man. Jesus, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like you filled it here with, like, air fresheners. Gibby, <laughs> that's oh so God. good. Oh. Gibby's art style is so cool, too. That's so good. Yes, Boxer. So this is a social commentary on how maybe I know Vox is a part of Niji Sanji. Maybe he feels boxed in, right? You know, he's got to ask permission to play fucking Bloon 6D or whatever, right? Maybe he feels boxed in. I don't want him to feel boxed in, right? Those limitations breed creativity, okay? 
yeah, sure, he, you know, he's in a corporation, right? And maybe there's some rules and stuff and some shenanigans and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want him to just be a box. He is the box. Nothing's contained in him. He is the box that he makes himself out to be. Limitation breeds creativity, okay? So Vox, keep doing your thing, man. Don't be boxed in. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the stain. Did you guys buy that? A wonderful word. You guys buy that? You only got that. Reddit symbol. Beautiful. Nyan did him dirty. I'm not going to lie. Nyan did him dirty with that. I'm not going to lie. That was a low blow, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> a wonderful word. Oh, mouses is so good. I cannot believe she did this with just like a mouse and fucking uh the I mean it's basically the equivalent of Microsoft Paint. That was, isn't, isn't this worth so the cool. two hours of drawing that we just did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was the hardest part about this collab is you're you're drawing you're drawing for two hours straight like nonstop. I think what we did like fourteen or fifteen panels. You're drawing for two hours. It's really really hard to get through. But once you see it all come together, he's right. It's totally worth it. Totally. Oh my god, dude. Oh my this god, this was worth it, dude. So fun. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And especially, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, you know, especially drawing shit that's so deep. I mean, imagine sitting for two hours and thinking about the deepest shit you could possibly do and try to write an entire commentary on all of reality itself. I don't want to be like a with that deep guy. I don't want to be the, the social commentary guy, but doing that for two hours is tough. It's really tough, man. It's really tough doing it for two hours, you know, riding the wrongs of reality itself. It's, it's tough, man. Giving such insightful commentary. It gets exhausting being so deep. I mean, why, do you, why, do you, why don't you think you hear from Jaden Smith that much? He tired himself out, man. I love when you do politics stuff. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Holy shit, bro. That would ruin, ruin. Lord Hassan Hassan I'm going to leave it to the professionals, guys. I'm going to stick to penis Aww. music. Call me crazy, but I'm going to stick to gaming and penis music. <laughs> I don't I want like that smoke. Fruit. I like my fruit, too. Me, too. I'm sorry about the Hans. They're really complicated. Oh, that's funny. Oh, oh, dude, Nyan's is so cute. Looks like a Harry Potter student. Aww. Whoa! I love that one, you. Milady. Milady. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Now, fruit, fruit is from the UK, right? Now, what's the UK synonymous with? Big Ben, right? What does Big Ben look like? A giant eye in the sky. Is there any difference between the eye of Sauron and Lord of the Rings and Big Ben? No, it's modeled after that. Did you ever think about that? I don't think so, man. So maybe fruit is feeling the pressure of like, you know, the, the eye in the sky is always watching, right? Always watching, always watching. Big Ben is a clock. What do they call a clock? A clock face. What does a face have? An eyeball. Think about it, man. Now, I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm not saying. What I'm not not saying is that you shouldn't not think about this kind of stuff. Someone said her mascot is literally an eye. Well, that, I mean, that's surface level. Yeah, that's surface level. But I'm trying to go a little bit deeper. Yeah, surface level. Yeah, of course. You know, you could say, oh, I just drew it because an eye is her symbol. Yeah, of course. You could say that. 
it may be if you forgot your shovel. Yeah, of course. You could say that. Oh yeah, it's just her it's just her mascot. You could say that. Yeah, maybe if you forgot your Milano, bulldozer. You don't know there is a giant Ferris wheel in London called the London Eye, right? Yeah, I was just about to get there. Yeah. Yeah, the London Eye. I mean, it's a classic a classic Ferris wheel in London. And what is it facing? It's facing Big Ben. They're looking at each other. So it's two giant eyes looking at each other. Did you guys bring your shovels? Two giant eyes looking at each other. And maybe Fruit feels like she's in the crossfire of that, being so far away over in the UK. Maybe she's maybe she's trying to look oh. towards the horizon. So this is me just saying, like, Fruit, fly. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're caught in the crossfire of these eyes, fly. You got wings. Take your eyes and fly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Explain the gravestones. Uh, those are the people that I tried to explain this concept to. Uh, but before I could finish, they passed away, sadly, because it took too long. <laughs> Uba. Oh, Uba. 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 oh, that's so cute. Oh, my oh, God. Unfortunately, they passed away. <laughs> What's crazy is Mouse drew the exact same thing. I mean, pretty pretty insane. You got to admit, man. Mouse is, Mouse is on that deep shit, too. You guys know it. Mouse, Mouse likes to get deep as well. Mouse always has her shovel. Mouse is always digging deep, man. It is pretty crazy, right? It is kind of nuts that we drew the exact same like weird fucking thing. You drew like the same shit as me. That's so weird. That's so weird. Except Mouse's is like actually sick looking. It, it does look like a like a biblical, like biblically accurate angel. It looks really cool. Yeah, mouse. <laughs> if anyone gets me, mouse gets me for sure. For sure. God bless Box, man. Um, how many of you guys have seen the movie Parasite? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You guys, you know the scene where like the the daughter from the from the poor family is being like is acting like an art tutor for the mm -hmm. kid from the uh -huh. rich family, yes. and she mm -hmm. tries to scare the mother to get her to keep coming back by saying, "Now look, the drawings that what they represent is something interesting about your child." And she points at like a corner where the kid is drawn. So he's like, "We call this the the schizophrenia zone." I feel like you could apply that to every single thing that Ethel has drawn today. <laughs> hey, bro, chill, man. If a child chill, dog. Chill, bro. I thought I didn't know he said that. <laughs> Chill, man. What the fuck? <laughs> They're cooking me, man. They're cooking me. <laughs> the schizophrenia zone. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> More. Hey, man. I just I brought my shovel. What can I say? I brought my shovel. I thought this was a good opportunity to uh, me start a conversation. Well, that's all I want to do, guys. I just want to start a conversation. <laughs> bro, they're all going to think I'm so weird now, bro. Oh, man. Guys, be honest. You think, you think, you think I creep these, all these people out? You think they're going to think I'm weird now? Daddy like you. I hope so. <laughs> now? What do you mean by that, bro? too <laughs> bad. Listen, man, I cannot help the way I am. I, 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 I cannot be normal for this for the for the life of me. I can't. I couldn't do it. I can't do it, man. I don't know what's wrong with me, bros. It's just too much fun. I, I you know what I mean? I can't. Can't stop. No, they aren't woke like you. <laughs> Isn't being a VTuber is weird from the start? Yeah, I thought I thought I thought that's what we all signed up for. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought that was in the VTuber clause that we all signed up. <laughs> don't stop! No, you don't worry about that, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm glad Mouse. I'm glad I'm not the only psycho. Mouse drew the same shit as me. That's true. That's true. That's true. If your child draws a giant eye, a eyeball, it seems that they see a being. Mommy, I drew this eyeball. I think that's why me and Mouse always got along so well. 
and yen too like we're we're all kind of the same like we have the like weird uh, not weird i don't even want to say weird because we're just we're just who we are you know what i mean like i never really feel uh i never really feel weird i just feel like i'm just me you know and and i feel like mouse is the same way in a lot of regards and, and yen is the same way i think that's why we all got along so well you know what i mean it's not it's not weird necessarily it's just we're just kind of just being ourselves what is really normal like what i don't know all right well that's a that's a conversation for a different time but you get what i mean probably yeah we all float in the same weird nebula exactly yeah we're all just kind of just un unabashedly ourselves which i think is the most important thing you can do and if people are you know if people think it's weird or like scary or different i i think i think people say that to just like categorize it but I think for the most part, people just appreciate you being you. So whether or not you're like a, a weird, schizophrenic, crazy person like me or, you know, or you're a little bit more reserved, I think as long as you're just being yourself, I think people appreciate that, man. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Oh, that's weird. Oh, Pictures. I'm a dapper gentleman. So this one, guys. This one, I'll be honest. Okay, this one, this one, uh, hear me out. I was actually playing Peglin in the background and I didn't realize we'd moved on to the next one. Uh, and I ran out of time, so I just needed to draw a quick shape and this is what I came up with. I mean, the art gun has like some diamond shit like coming off their head, so. Oh, but yeah, the, yeah, they are flipping you off. Yeah, yeah. You know, because diamonds, the thing with diamonds is like they have this hard exterior, right? They portray this like, oh, fuck you. You know, I'm so fucking hard. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like diamonds are always like, I'm the hard guy. You know, like in the Billie Eilish voice, I'm the hard guy. And so they got their middle fingers up like that. But everyone knows when you crack open a diamond... It's just like a Tootsie Pop. They got some gum in the middle and everything's cool. So he's got to act cool and shiny and kind of like, kind of tough like that. So that's why I drew that. Dude. Also, I don't really know the art gun that well, so I didn't want to like go off too hard. So I just drew something kind of safe. Those are incredible. Vibing. Oh, that is cute, Yui. Why are you so flat? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, Rodent, thank you so much for five gifted. That's so good. Uh, and Parkhorn, thank you so much for six months. Appreciate it, guys. Dude, I Fruits art is so fucking cool, man. Uh, it's so cool. I love it. She's so good. Get you, get, get you someone who looks at you like that. Oh, Yeah, crack table. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so Yo, uh, guys. What if, can I tell you a little secret real fast? Can I be honest with you guys for one second? Like, really honest. I'm uh, no bullshit here, okay? Can I be honest for just two seconds, man? Just give me two seconds. Can I be honest? I'm going to say something, man. I'll be honest for just two seconds, and then we'll get back to the video. You ready? I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. Ah. Ah. Man, this model looks pretty good, doesn't it, guys? Dude, I'm, I'm so happy with this.
Oh, also, I want to say a big shout out to ADD Wasabi uh, for helping me get this set up. Uh, it actually, th there was a lot that I had to do to get the shit set up. It's, it's a little bit harder than VTube Studio. Uh, but ADD Wasabi, a old time castle bro, was able to help me get it all set up yesterday. So big shout out to ADD. Appreciate it, man. God bless you, brother. Uh, also, I do. I want to say before we get back to the video too. Thank you so much. We had over like 125, maybe over like 130 mod applications uh, for Discord and Twitch. We still have it available if you still want to apply. The application is still up, I believe. I don't know if we have a link for it. Uh, I might have to ask one of the mods for it. Uh, but the applications are still a go. Probably close it here in like the next few days or something like that. Uh, but we had over 100. And 20, 25, 125 people apply. Uh, so we are going to have some new mods here very soon uh, in the Discord and Twitch. Uh, so if you want to get involved with the castle and help out, again, it's it's voluntary. So, you know, you don't have to work every day. You don't have to be at every stream. You don't have to, you know, know a whole lot about nothing, really. Um, but if you've been in the castle for a long time and kind of know how things work uh, and know, like, which bands we kind of like to do on Twitch and, like, what kind of vibe and culture we like to have and you know kind of like the the mutual respect we have for each other uh if you feel comfortable doing something like that feel free to hit up the mod application the whole chat nothing but mods well you know it is unlimited twitch does give you unlimited mod access like you can have as many mods as you want on your channel could you imagine what if i give everyone here a mod roll Worst idea ever. All right, let's get back to it. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate everyone's drugs already. Oh, 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 I'm on for this being especially heinous. Randy. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> Dude, that's Randy. Randy. <laughs> They're making a flavored condom. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, a flavored I condom? I love her. Wait, mm -hmm. have you guys ever actually tasted a flavored condom? Are they are they like worth it? I'm not asking for any reason. I'm just asking, like, it, it, are they actually good? Yes. What does it taste like? Does it, and how long does the flavor last exactly? That's what I always wondered. Is it just like a like a like a type of liquid that surrounds it? I feel like it would just taste like you know you get like a cherry condom. I feel like it would just taste like a like a rubberized cherry cough drop. Like I I don't feel like it would taste that good get one and test it we could you actually like i assumed flavored lube on a condom yeah that's what i that's what i imagined too so it probably wouldn't last that long as soon as you suck it off once it, it'd probably be done the lube on it has taste to it okay okay wait, who, wait what would be the point of that i don't understand who sucks your dick with a condom on are you supposed to do that what the f who the fuck would ever do that Well, for strangers, yes. A safer sex. Extra safe, I guess. Prostitutes. Ethel does a flavored condom tier list. I don't... Could you, I mean, can you show a condom on stream? Probably not, right? New stream idea? Blind condom taste test? I would be... That would be so fucking funny, bro. Just put a bunch of condoms on bananas and blind taste test them. And try to guess the flavor. There's no way we could do that. Just skip the BJ... Is it so like if you, part of my friends is going to get a little bit crass. Is it for like extra safety during a blowjob or is it for like when you stick your dick in whatever orifice and rip it out and like go to like eat it out afterwards? Is it so you can taste it there? Is that why? Or is it just for a tasty safe blowjob? Ah, nothing I'd like more than a tasty safe blowjob right about now. STI prevention. Oh, yeah, because you can get an STI from, from uh, a blowjob, right? Did I ever tell you guys the story? I, I told the story a, a while ago, a, a long time ago, about my British friend that I had to take to, the, uh, to get like an STD check. Did I ever tell you guys that? Yeah, he, he had sex with this girl. Uh, and he got like uh, a, a blowjob from this girl with a tongue ring, and he believes that he got some sort of uh, context. Ethel, 
Yeah, yeah. So I wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. You guys are you guys are being weird. <laughs> all right, listen, 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 listen. No, this was this was before I was a VTuber. This was before I was a VTuber. This was when I was living in Japan. My buddy had a sexual relation with a woman. Uh, his he had his penis blown uh, in vaginal sex, vaginal penetration, just classic stuff. And he believes that he contracted some sort of sexually transmitted disease. Story about a quotation mark. Friend, what the fuck does that mean, bro? Classic vaginal penetration, consensual vaginal penetration, a very classic, classic move. And it was unprotected. And he believes that he had contracted some sort of sexually transmitted disease doing the penetration. And he did not speak any Japanese. And he was very scared to go to the doctor and get tested because he was having some sort of discharge from the tip of his penis, out of the hole of his penis, uh, which is not normal. If you do not have a penis, we usually do not discharge unless we are excited uh, or urinating. This was an unprompted discharge, a milky substance, not to be confused with semen uh, or sperm. Uh, it was a, a milky, cloudy substance. And I don't know from firsthand experience, it's just what he told me. An, an opaque substance, yep. And he wanted me to translate and go to the doctors and tell him, you know, the symptoms, right? So we had to go, but I didn't know the scientific word for penis. Now, I know that word in English, right? I would just say, my penis is itchy, okay? My friend's penis is itchy. But I did not know what the scientific word for penis was. I realized that up until this point, I'd been studying Japanese for three years. I'd been studying Japanese literally five hours a day, every day for three years. I was N2 level Japanese. I, I was business level Japanese. I could write business emails. I could converse with just about anyone. And one word that I did not take the time to learn was penis. Now, of course, I can say, oh, chin chin. Okay, because that's the only word I learned, which basically means like little pee pee, dick, pee pee pee, my peeny. Okay, it's like the cute way of saying penis. So what the fuck? I got to the doctor's office and I was like, oh, you know, I was just having a normal conversation. Because at this point, my Japanese was, was good enough that like, you know, I don't think about what I'm going to say first. You know what I mean? It just comes out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not thinking about like, oh, shit, I got to know all these words. No, I just go have a conversation. And I'll explain it. So I go to the doctor and I'm like, oh, my friend's little pee pee is itchy and there's a discharge coming from it. Oh, my Tomodachi's chin chin is a little kayui. Ooh. Okay. So fucking awkward, man. So goddamn awkward. My little Tomodachi's wee wee is Choto Kayui. Uh. It was terrible. It was fucking awful. It was fucking awful. Yeah. Uh, it, it was, it was so fucking embarrassing. And that was the day, that was the day, you know, you, you had to take the piss test. Did you learn it? No, I never looked it up. I never looked it up. I never looked it up, man. What's the word for PP? I still don't know. I never looked it up after that. Wait, is this Awadi? Yeah, this is the Awadi story. Yeah, the British friend was me, man. It was the worst day of my life. I didn't have the confidence to tell you guys. It was the worst fucking day of my life. It was the worst day of my life. It was the worst day of my life. It was the most embarrassing time of my life. So you have to take a piss test. The doctor said there is nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong, but he gave me antibiotics and it was like totally fine. But you have to take a piss test, okay? This this was my first Why British? Just because that was the only friend I had in uh in my little town was either a British guy or an Australian guy and I I couldn't do it to my Aussie friends. 
I couldn't do it to my Aussie friend, bro. <laughs> it was the worst time of my life, man. Hello, bro. <laughs> my chin chin is Choto Abunai, innit? <laughs> my fucking chin chin's little car, you, innit? So you have to take a piss test, right? You have to take a piss test. You go to this back room. I was scared, man. I was scared. I was so scared. I'd never had like any any scare like that before. Never had any scare like that before. But I, I think what I did was I scared myself so much because she had like this tongue ring. And I'd never like experienced that before. And I got it in my head because I went on Google and I started Googling shit. Like, oh my God, can I get an STI from a fucking tongue ring? Now, it turns out there was nothing wrong. The doctor was like, oh, yeah, th there's nothing wrong. Like, you're totally fine, but we'll give you antibiotics just to be sure. But, like, we, nothing came up. But when I, before that, before that, I had to go take a piss test, right? You go pee in a cup. I didn't know what to do afterwards. I'd never had to do this before, let alone do this in Japan. So I peed in a cup. The instructions were not clear. So I brought my piss-filled cup up to the front desk, put it on the counter, and said, uh, Owari desu. With my stinky, gaijing, white pig piss sitting in a paper cup on the front desk of this little, cute, like, countryside clinic. Owari desu. And the lady was like, oh, okay, great, great, and, and takes it. They do the test, whatever. Uh, I go back to the doctor, and he's like, yeah, you know, we didn't find anything crazy, but just to be safe, you know, we listened to you. Here's some antibiotics. You should be fine in, like, a few days. I took the antibiotics. Everything was fine. I think I just got it cooked in my head. It was the worst. It was the worst day of my life. Are you serious, my man? No, this can't be real. Unfo it, it's real, bro. It's real. Those two stories were related. Yeah. Truth has come out, guys. You've survived the most cringe thing to have ever existed. It was, it was the worst day of my life. It was the worst day of my life. You came out a stronger man. Did I? Did I? How'd the ring feel though? Oh, d horrible. I hated it. I hated it. It felt so weird, man. I I got it even... You know what happens to me, dude? I think I'm like a hypochondriac in that sense. Even when it happens... This is when I was a single guy. Okay, this was a long time ago. Even when it happens... I was like, bro, this, I, I feel like this metal shouldn't be on my ding dong right now, man. I feel, I don't think this is right. You know what I mean? I don't think this is right, dude. Well, on this topic, did you guys know testicular torsion is, oh, fuck you, man. Yeah, it just stressed me out. Yeah. So I think I just got it in my head that like, oh, dude, like this, this can't be good. You know what I mean? So I convinced myself, I was like, dude, I should just go to the doctor. I should just go to the doctor. And once I got that in my head, I was like, I, I have to go. I have to go. And the doctor was like, yeah, you're fine. So I did all that literally for nothing. Did you ever tell him or her? Well, obviously, if I was confirmed with like uh, something, yeah, of course I would have told them. Oh my God, yeah. I would have been like, dude, you fucked me up, man. But they were like, yeah, no, there's literally nothing wrong. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, I wish I didn't do this. Dude, you had milky discharge? Well, <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I did. I think I convinced myself that maybe a little pre-cum was, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I was in a, I was in a, I was scared. I was scared because I didn't, I didn't want to like 
give it to anyone else. I, you know, I was so scared. So I was like, bro, I have to get this checked out. I'd never, I had never had a scare like that in my whole life. So I was like, bro, like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? You know, I, I had friends at that time. So I was like, bro, like, I, I'm not doing this. I gotta go get it checked out. I got like so paranoid. So yeah, I became a web MD Andy and went through the most embarrassing shit of my life. Cause I just wanted to be safe. I didn't want to fuck anyone else up. Right. You know, it, it, I don't think you have to be embarrassed by that crap. You know what I mean? It's better to just be safe. I, I don't regret it at all. You know, I think you're a real piece of shit. If you like think you might have something and you just act like you don't and don't get it checked out and like willy nilly, you know, not tell other people, you know what I mean? So I'm not really embarrassed by that story. I think it's just a funny goof, but yeah, I think being safe is, uh, yeah, more important than all that crap. Yeah. I've decided that you're still cool. Everyone goes crazy after a piercing BJ. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> it changed. It changed me, man. It changed me for the for the better, for the worse. I don't really know. Don't be the person in a zombie apocalypse that hides a bite. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. It won't one hundred percent. I have a cringe story too involving my ding dong, a doctor, and my mom. What? What do you mean, Jer? What do you mean, bro? Wait, oh, you, you tell us, man. You can't just spill those beans. You got to tell us, brother. It's a long story, but nothing like that, actually. What? Got his dick stuck in his mom again? This should be a Lord Hassan stream with the length of the stun lock. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the video. Let's get back. Let's get back. I couldn't finish fun in time, but. Oh, wow. I like how their name is just like. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That, that one looks familiar. Damn. <laughs> I don't know how we got on that conversation, to be honest. <laughs> I'm trying to trace back in my head how we got there, and I cannot remember. I feel like we ruined the video. Oh, yeah, flavored condoms. That's right. Yeah, flavored condoms. That's right. Well, maybe if I would have had one, you know what I mean? Okay, do I really need to, do I even need to explain this one? Do I even need to explain this one? This one's pretty exp explanatory, right? Now it's AI candy, right? What does AI stand for? Artificial intelligence. What is the most artificially intelligent thing? A computer. Boom. Ding dong. Artificial AI PI, private investigator. Now you might be asking, why did I turn it into a private investigator? I'm like the, uh, who's the guy that did the Parasite movie? I'm like that guy. That's for you to figure out, man. Artificial I AI PI. Bong Jong Hu. I'm like Bong Jong Hu. That's up to you to figure out. That is that awesome. Yeah, it was a little fucking slap. You guys move ahead. Help me. Thank These you. are wildly good. These are so good. What the heck? Yeah. They're so yeah. good. Rose I love them. Oh, my rose, like my rose doodle fine. drawing is so yeah, bad. Yeah. I'm actually not proud of this one. Oh, oh, oh wait, I'm a oh. 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 <laughs> It's like her little like cardigan she's wearing. Yeah. Yachty noodle. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll break it down. I'll break it down. Now, Rose Doodle, when I think of Rose Doodle, right? Rose Doodle is a combination of two words, right? Rose and Doodle. So it's the, this in between. 
It's this in between of two things, like these two two separate entities coming together. I had to get my urine test. How did you get your urine tested? Being cloudy and being worried, it was STI. Turns out my body ejects excessive sodium Whoa. from my urine because my kidneys weren't filtering it out. Wow. Wait, so you just, you piss out like uh, extra sodium? Holy shit, man. So, like, if you're at the dinner table with your family and someone says, pass the salt, what do you do, man? <laughs> you just stand up. <laughs> just piss on your dad's hamburger. <laughs> just piss all over your dad's french fries. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary because, yeah, wouldn't that lead to kidney stones? Now I get kidney stones if I don't drink a lot of water daily. Yeah. I think like normal everyday people too have to be worried about that shit too. Like if you eat, what is it? Like if you eat a lot of red meat, a lot of sodium, a lot of sugary drinks, stuff like that, you can get kidney stones pretty easy. I'm going to take a sip of water right now. Uh, yeah. So we have Rose Doodle, right? It's, it's, it's a in between between two separate entities right rose and doodle so it's this combination and what represents that better than anything well i was thinking of ditto from pokemon right so it's like this this transformation between me and rose we're not quite there yet but we have elements of both of us together Wow. Oh, was it red? <laughs> Dude, God bless Box, man. Thank God he's around. Aww. Man, Snuffies is so good. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, God. When I was like Shar, I was on vacation and I was doing oh, what Shar year old does, you know. Oh. And I somehow accomplished it to rip my foot. Oh, skin. dude! It had to get operated on because it would feel fully. Let me tell you, it was a very awkward talk with my father. Bro! Jesus, man! Oh, damn! Oh, Oh, I love the red flower. That's nice. Yo, Dad, I that ripped off so my cute. ding dong. Jeez, man. There's something. For some reason, I feel like my dad would like give me a high five after that. Oh, nice work, son. Yo, Dad, help! I jacked my ding dong off. Holy fuck! I I don't know what that would feel like. I you know I was raised in a Catholic family, so I was circumcised like right at birth. So I I do not have my. Uh, my dick my dick shield my dick sheath uh it was stolen from me in the dead of night against my will i'll never forgive my family and god for that one it was stolen from me taken from me never to be seen again ripped apart uh so i have a sheathless penis sheathless in seattle wait that's catholic yeah a, a lot of a lot of like it's it's what is it it's like a jewish and a catholic thing right it's it's an Old Testament thing. If you if if you're like a, in a religion that's like very very based in the Old Testament, yeah, they'll they'll rip your dick off. We've had this whole we've done this whole bit before, you know. You know, it's Abraham. He's in the desert. He's wandering around, and God whispers down to him, "Cut off your little boy, ding dong." What was that, God? Mutilate your little boy, ding dong. Are you sure, God? Or do you really want me to? I mean, how did they come up with that rule of all things, you know? I thought just Jewish, the more you know. No, it's it's an Old Testament thing. Yeah, it's in the Old Testament. And obviously, if you're Catholic, you believe the Old Testament and the New Testament. So, yeah. Yeah, it goes both ways. Should have nothing to do with Catholicism. Well, no, no, no. The Catholicism studies the, the Old Testament. It's I mean, it's very prominent in the Old Testament. Yeah. If you're in a Christian uh, denomination that you know, follows the Old Testament just as much as they do the, the New... Yeah, you'd be circumcised. Not Catholic, not Jewish, still got circumcised. Well, a lot of people think it's a, you know, it's a cleanliness thing. Yeah, Old Testament is both Jewish and Christian. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. It used to be a hygiene thing. They used religion to pressure people to do it for health reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think it is like a hygiene thing. You know, it, they think it's maybe like barbaric or uh, 
a little bit uncleanly to have foreskin. Yeah. Modern, yeah, in well, yeah, in modern days, yeah, we have uh, showers uh, to to help with that in modern medicine. So it it is probably a a little outdated practice, but you know, for tradition's sake, uh, I think it's still still pretty prominent. And there's probably you know people that still think it's it's safer and healthier to to have it removed. I don't really know. If I had a son, would I have it removed? Um, yeah, because fuck him, man. If I had to do it, he's got to do it too. You know what I mean? I feel like it's kind of one of those things at this point. Yeah, fuck him, dude. He's got to do it. <laughs> hey, if I had to, you have to too, brother. <laughs> when I was your age, let me tell you, they mutilated my little boy Ding Dong. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I don't know if I would have it. Probably not. I mean, what do I care? I'm not really a religious guy. You know, I respect you know, religious traditions and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily religious these days anymore. Uh, I never really was, you know. I was just kind of born into it and forced into it. Uh, but once I was old enough to think for myself, I was like, man, this maybe isn't for me. I like some of the practices in terms of, like, uh, not murdering people. I thought that was a pretty cool rule. Um, not stealing from people. I think that's pretty pretty based. Uh, so I do like those. Uh, but outside of that kind of stuff, you know, uh, I'm not too too into religion, but I, I respect it. Definitely. You don't need religion for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you know, if people want to be religious, I think as long as you're being respectful to, to people and the way they're born and the way that they are and the way they carry themselves in a respectful manner, hey, do whatever you got to do. You know what I mean? Some of those big buildings are cool. Not murdering is kind of based. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No murder at all. Yeah, yeah. Could you believe that? A world with no murder. Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of cool. Ethel is really against mixed fabrics. Wait, what do you mean by that, bro? Ross really is staring. Oh, yeah, we got to finish the video. We got to finish the video. Sorry. How do we go? What's wrong with us, man? What the hell is wrong with us? We talked about... We've talked oh. about everything, dude. We've talked about the fabric of reality, religious traditions, the Old Testament, mutilation of little boy ding-dongs. How did we get here, man? Always. ADHD. It's always ADHD. Hey, you, you guys are just as fucked up as me, okay? Don't forget that, all right? Just because I'm the guy behind the helm, you, you guys enable me, okay? This is, uh, this is all your fault, too, okay? We're in this together. Mm -hmm. We love talking about dicks. What can I say? How are you feeling after all those rows? I'm so happy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're all JoJo's fans. Ooh, I actually really like my drawing of Buff Pup. I'm not gonna lie. It's so good. <laughs> Guys, you have to admit, that's actually kind of good. Look how juicy she looks. She looks like a juicy, like a, like a kid's candy. You know what I mean? She looks so juicy. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, you guys like the shine? <laughs> that's TOS, bro. <laughs> Shine is real. Yeah, look how look how good her eyes came out too. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of this one. P probably my favorite. The snuff pump. God, fruit is so cracked. Oh, that one's really cool. The shading on that looks so, so, like, realistic. It looks like a Neopet. Neopet. Oh, my God. 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 O
<laughs> that looks definitely looks like a persona of this yours. Is all of our yeah, persona. we have a lot of It's everyone's persona. This is uh, my oh, no. persona <laughs> lemonade coyote. <laughs> 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 From the fucking bad guys. Wow. Aw, oh, Roses is so cute. I love that one. I feel like Vox, Vox Brian Griffin is so good. Yeah. <laughs> it does look like Brian Griffin. Oh, fuck. I'm loving all the big hands on this one. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for the dogs. Thank you. Who's next? I think, what, Gooey is next? I'm looking like Brian, but that's... Yeah. Yeah, Stewie, sometimes I just don't want to be alive. Don't say that, Brian. Wow. Whoa. That is super hot. Very nice. I'm gonna fall yeah, with the Dude, Nyan. Oh my god, she's so good, bro. I love this. I like that one. Wow. All I'm saying is, I'm just glad Vox was there, man. So glad he was there. Wow. That's a mouthful. That's cute. Oh my god. Should I just send a being we fan out? Yeah. Oh god. I, oh. Is that Among Us? What am I looking at? Lord Demon. What is Do I even need to explain this one, guys? Do I need to explain this one? I don't think so, right? It's pretty obvious. Okay. All right. Hear me out, man. Hear me out. Now, Giwi has two mouths, right? Now, did you guys ever have the same when you were in school, when your teacher, when you were like cracking up in class oh. and the teacher was like, you have two ears and one mouth, so shut up. Well, guess what, bitch? We got two mouths, okay? And with two mouths comes a responsibility and the curse of always being hungry. So Giwi's out in the world with her two mouths Trying to go with a stroll in the park and she sees this cute bunny and she can't control herself. Why? Because we are not meant to have two mouths. You know what I mean? We got two ears, one mouth, so we always listen. But with Giwi, she has two mouths, so she's kind of cursed. She's going against nature itself. That's why the tree's there to represent nature. And that's why the grass is down there to represent nature. And the bunny represents innocence, uh, uh, a child's innocence. The innocence of nature, uh, virgin nature is what I would call it. Virgin manifestation of nature is what I would call the bunny. And Giwi's walking around. Jeez. Oh God, wait, do you have the, the mom? <laughs> hold up, hold up. It's not going to do TTS because I think you wrote something. Uh... Okay, so Jer says, okay, here's the story for people that didn't see it. My penis was malformed at birth. It would always point down, make it impossible for me to have fun with someone. I went to a doc with my mom. I was 17 at the time. I needed to get surgery to fix it. After a bunch of tests on me, he told my mom, the surgery will make it smaller. But trust me, your son is going to have nothing to worry about. TLDR, a doc told my mom I had a huge dick. Jesus, man. What the fuck? <laughs> the doctor said... So the doctor literally said, Oh, you, you can afford to lose a few inches and still be fine? Yeah! <laughs> Incredibly based doctor. <laughs> Damn. Jer is a giga chat dick haver. A giga dick haver. Bro had to get nerfed for the rest of us? Yeah, yeah. The doctor said he, he probably didn't even need to make it smaller. He probably just made that up. The doctor was like, hey, I got to I gotta even out the playing field because this motherfucker. The doctor said your dick is your dick is one inch. From the ground. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's what this picture represents. You know, you got two mouth or uh, two ears, one mouth. It's always more important to listen than to speak. But if you're cursed with two mouths, you're going to go against that that innocence of nature, right? You're going to be tempted. You're going to be too tempted to do things. You know, not necessarily eat things, but maybe say things that you wouldn't do so regularly, right? 
Actually, I have a funny story about that. I told Nian this story yesterday, but when I was a kid, you know how teachers would always say that? Like if you're if you're like cracking up in class and you're like goofing off, your teacher would be like, you have two ears and one mouth, so you need to listen. Dude, did you guys have the one kid in your class that was such a little shithead, but was so funny that anything he did would just make the whole class crack up, but he was such a little shit. Like when you look back on it, you feel bad for the teacher, but at the time it was the funniest shit in the entire world. Dude, he would not stop talking one day. He would not stop fucking talking. The teacher goes, yo, Joe, you have two mouths or two ears and one mouth, so you need to stop talking. And he said, what about my butt? And lights off the biggest fart I've ever heard in my entire life. This dude came cocked and loaded he had one preloaded in the chamber for this comeback. It was the best comedic timing. For, I mean, we were what? I think we were in like third grade at the time. What about my butt? Zzz. Lifted the leg and everything. Zzz. Dude, it was madness. The, dude, the teacher could not control us for like five minutes straight. We were laughing so fucking hard. Because... Well, well, what were you supposed to do? You know what I mean? We weren't expecting that. Who's going to expect a third grader to have a fucking fart loaded up like that? What about my butt? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, man. There's a, Dude, that kid was so bad. That kid was so fucking bad. That kid tried to get me to smoke weed in the forest one time. We we're like 10 years old. Dude, who smokes weed? He, he was like, yo, hey, they like, uh, let's go to the forest. And I was like, okay. We had this huge forest around our school, right? But this huge forest that surrounded our whole school. And, you know, a lot of kids would go there and, like, hang out. Me and my brother used to build, like, bike ramps, like, BMX shit with, like, mud. It would be, like, uh, like off-road racing. And so, like, a lot of kids would be in there, like, doing, like, the bike trails that me and my brother and, like, everybody else would, like, make together. And this kid was like, yo, hey, they let's go in, a, in the forest and smoke weed. And so I go with him in the forest and he actually pulls out the weed and I'm like looking at it and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm not smoking weed. I'm not doing this crap. You know, I was like a straight, you know, when you're like 10 years old, you're like the fucking, you know, the, the, the profanity police. You're not even saying bad words. It's like before you hit puberty, you know, you, you, you were like really influenced by dare. So you're not saying shit. You're practically a fucking federal agent at that point. Mm, I'm not doing that. You said the word, you said the word, but, you know, you're tattletaling on fucking everyone, you know? So we go into the forest and he brings out this weed. And I, I'm with my other buddy too. And I know he's on the same shit as me. We're, we're on that dare brainwashing. Yeah. And this boy, Joe, he brings out the, all this weed in like a pipe. I'm like, Jesus, man, how the fuck do you have this crap? It sounds like a bad apple, though. I don't want you hanging out with him anymore. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Don't worry, man. Actually, I'm still friends with him. He, he's a really nice guy now. He's really nice. Uh, he was a really cool kid, but he was really bad. He would just do bad shit all the time. Always in trouble. Uh, always, always fucking in trouble. There's one story. I don't even think I can tell it uh, because there, there's a... Uh, I don't think I can tell it. I wouldn't be able to tell it. I don't think I can. But so like we basically turned him down and we just watched this kid smoke weed and we were like 10 years old in the middle of the forest. We both turned it down. We both turned it down. We just watched him smoke weed at 10 years old. So fucking weird. Was murder involved? No, no. There's just a... Uh, uh. There, there's like a... There's a gamer word involved and I just... I would not be able to tell the story. I, w I wouldn't even know how to tell it. It was just the most unhinged shit I've ever been a part of. So th this boy, this boy, wa he was an African-American, okay? He was a really nice kid. Really, really nice kid. Basically, he told the principal to suck his gamer word balls in front of the whole school. And we were like, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, my eyes lit up. I mean, it was the first time I'd ever really heard that. 
Because I, so I was in the principal's office because I was going to the dentist. And this kid comes in and he was getting in trouble for something. And the principal was like, Joe, sit down. Sit down and shut up. The principal was such a fucking dickhead, dude. I hated this motherfucker with a passion. I, I hated this principal. Such an asshole. Joe, sit down and shut up. And this kid says, suck my gamer word balls. And my eyes light up like this, like. And the principal, you know what the principal does? The principal does the exact same thing as me, dude. The principal goes like. And he looks over at me. The principal looks at me. And I'm like. What do you want me to do, man? I'm 10 years old. Say something, man. And Joe, it just has this smirk on his face like. There's nothing you can say back to that. So the principal just storms out of the fucking room, man. Dude, I lost my mind. Obviously, I, w I was 10 years old, so I didn't really understand the implication of that word or anything like that. You know what I mean? I was, I was so young. It was like the first time I'd really ever heard it. But I knew it was fucking bad. I knew you couldn't say that to a teacher. Dude, it was the most insane shit I'd ever seen in my entire life. It was so fucking awesome. It was fucking awesome. Holy shit. But yeah, I actually, I, I did remain friends with that guy. Uh, I have him on Instagram. I got to hit him up and, and uh, tell him I told that story. He'd probably laugh, laugh his ass off, bro. Oh yeah, I told my Twitch chat the, the time you told the principal to suck your balls. <laughs> uh, I fucking love that guy. What kind of school does he go to? You know, just like a shitty like Midwest, Ohio, like bumfuck nowhere school, you know? He he was he was a really nice kid, you know. He was just uh he was just a funny, he was just a class clown, you know. I don't think he was a bad kid. He was just a class clown. Dude, that shit was so fucking funny. Just like a solid 30 seconds that felt like 10 minutes of me and the principal with our eyes wide open looking at each other like holy fuck. I don't know what his punishment was for it. I mean, it was probably just like detention or some shit, but he was back in class like the next few days. God damn. You got two ears and one mouth, so quit talking. What about my butt? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, shout out to Joe. God damn it. <laughs> what about my butt? <laughs> God damn. All right, back to the video. Back to the video. Sorry about that, guys. Damn, good Pop. job. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, so good. Oh, Bebo is just a trap. In the mouth. He likes Doritos. That's uh, actually true. We're not allowed Dude, I'm just, th that I'm just thinking about how he said it, bro. Because, you know, in, in Ohio, we kind of have like a little southern twang. I think I've kind of gotten rid of it. But just the way he said it to the principal, bro, it's just reverberating in my fucking mind. <laughs> Suck my balls. <laughs> Oh my god, alright, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh my god, Oh my god, Giwi, what? You are so fucking Gee talented. What? <laughs> what do you think, Giwi? Alright, we're almost done, bros. I saved them all, they are so good. <laughs> I'm happy you like them. <laughs> oh, your team! Your team! Your clash! Imagine in Cartman. Wow. Yeah, he kind of did have that voice. Oh, oh, Suck my balls. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> that's, really the best, that's, that's, that's probably the best one I got. That's rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, Sorry, the name's not great. Rubbish. Fucking rubbish, that's mate. Fucking rubbish, <laughs> mate. I love that scar. That is, shit. Is, wait, is that part of Fruit's design? With that that scar underneath her eye. What are you guys laughing at, man? Yeah, is that part of her design? Oh, it's part of Yoshi's design. Oh, it's a tattoo. Okay, 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 okay. I'd love that. I love that scar so much. It looks so cool. I mean, what do you want me to say about mine, guys? It's fucking perfect. Very good, day, folks. What do you want me to say about this, man? Rod, 
Ross looks so disappointed in me, man. Why brown? I thought that's what Yo uh, Yoklesh's skin was. Isn't she like a demon? I thought I look. You can see her. Look. More. Is that not the same color as her skin on that? What color is her? She's red. Why? This looked red to me, man. I don't know what you want me to tell you. This looked red to me. This shit looks. Red. Looking at it now, it looks so fucking red. It looks infinitely more red than I could even imagine. She's bright red, and that's burnt sienna. I okay. I'm looking at I'm looking at Yoklesh right now, and I'm looking at mine. To me, they look the exact same. The outline is red. Oh well, yeah, okay, yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> what are you colorblind or something? <laughs> The background is closer to her skin. Oh, back here? Wait, really? I thought that was like a pink. It's okay, Ethel. We forgive you since your cow are blind. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, did you see her poop as red then? No. That's, that would be weird, man. I don't see my poop as red. That would mean I would have to go to the doctor. My poop comes out black. Wait, what color is your guys' poo, man? How could you tell? I guess I've never shown anyone my poop before. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, I, me and my best friends, we would send poop videos to each other. Like, uh, I'm sure you guys would do this too. When we were in college, we would send poop, poop videos to each other. Where like, as soon as we had to shit, this is when Snapchat was like just popping off. Like when I was in college. And we would wait until we have to poop like really bad and then hover over the toilet. And so it would just be like a like a, the shot would just be like the back of a toilet bowl. There wouldn't be me. There wouldn't be my legs. There wouldn't be my ass or anything. It would just be a shot of like a blank toilet bowl or like toilet like the, the toilet lid and like the wall behind it. And then out of nowhere, it'd be like 15 seconds. And then out of nowhere, just shit would start falling <laughs> from the top of it. Just with no, no text, no nothing. And we would send that back and forth to each other every time we shit for like a year straight. But there would be times, this is the worst. This is the worst part about it. There would be times because we couldn't see what we were filming, right? We would have to like stick it, you know, stand up and stick the camera between our legs and then film the back of the toilet, right? But there would be times that we couldn't see what we're filming. So our asshole would be in the shot. So you would see our asshole open up and release shit from inside of it and drop <laughs> into the toilet. And we would send this to each other for like a year straight. And for whatever reason, it was the funniest shit Ever, man. I, there's no way I know it sounds weird. There's no way I can describe or justify it. But my God, it is the funniest shit ever. No pun intended. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm telling you guys. Just, okay, walk, walk, walk through it with me. You get a message. Oh, hey, I got a message. You know, that's nice. At this point. We're never going to finish the video. Oh, well, yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. You get a little ding, ding dong. Oh, I got a little text message. Cool. I wonder who that's from. Oh, my best friend. Hell yeah. You open it up. Put in your little password. Open it up. And then it's just silence. There's the back of a toilet. Oh, I wonder what this video is. And then you close it. And then you're sitting there, you turn off your phone, you lock your phone back up, and you have your blank, black reflection in your phone screen looking back at yourself, and you just have to think about what you watched. And you know that someone sent that to you, and it's been impressed onto you, and you have to live with that. And for whatever reason, <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever, bro. You guys didn't do that with your friends? Be honest, man. Be honest. <laughs> no, you guys didn't do that crap. 
ain't even remotely funny what's wrong with you <laughs> simpler times man I, I guess I come from a different generation what can I say who started the streak was it I think it just started with like we would fart we would like send videos of our farts I mean that's always funny right and then we were just like the kind of dynamic where like we would just want to make things funnier so we were like okay what if we just send a piece of shit one time you know what I mean? And that it just evolved. Just evolved and evolved and evolved. Yeah, it's like a like a humor ex escalation. Because the, the best part was is that like we would get these and we had like an unspoken rule that we had to open it wherever we were. More. So what made it funnier was that I knew he could be in class or I knew he could be with his girlfriends or I knew he could be with his family whenever I would send it. And he knew the same about me. And I knew that he would have to open it and watch me take a shit. And for whatever reason, that was the funniest part. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just knowing that I could change the trajectory of his life with a piece of shit okay, is inherently funny. Yo, Thrimbus, take care, man. Yo, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Be safe. That sounds like something Caprofili at Kyle would start was it Copro Kyle. Love that guy, but not as much he loves Poo Poo. Wait, Corprofili at Kyle? I don't know what that is. Unsolicited shit pigs. <laughs> Alright, all right, let's finish the video. Let's finish this. Sorry guys, sorry. Very good day, folks. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. I wish we again. Oh. Yo, Kevin, Oh, oh, sorry, I might have interrupted that one. That's, cute, though. That's okay. Oh. Aww. So Yo, let's cute. let's be normal for the for the last. We got four minutes. Let's just be normal for the last four minutes, guys. Very nice. Let's just do normal, just uh, normal react Twitch shit, okay? Just for four minutes, okay? Can we do that, guys? Just normal. Okay, let's do it. Starting now. Normal, just bullshit, classic Twitch react. Okay, here we go. Cool. Very cool. Sick. Yeah, what the hell did you fucking drink? Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, the scars. So cool. Oh, great. That is awesome. I like, I like YouTube videos. Yeah. I'm happy I did this. Great. Oh, it's fusion time. It's me. Wow. Uh, it's cool. Great. Wow. That looks like Michael. These are all so cute. It's cute and cool. That looks so good. It looks like a wolf! I was going cryptid. I was going to say, Scrunkly? That's the picture I drew! I drew a picture of Mr. Beast! Why are we I drew! I love oh, that. Oh, that looks so good. Why do all my drawings have brown? Wait, does this one have brown? <laughs> Scrunkly and Lord Snafy. I just want to honestly, I just wanted to draw a cute one of Snuffy, to be honest. You know, there's there's no deeper meaning here, I'll be honest, guys. I just wanted to draw like a little cute one. Because all the all the Snuffy's drawings the whole time were like so cute. So I was like, you know, I'll just draw a little cute one. I'll be I'll, I'll chill for one. This is cute, right, guys? This is a picture. <laughs> I like pictures <laughs> and colors. I love that. That looks so good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mm, the scar is edgy and cool. Oh my god. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Did you like that, yeah. Snuffy? Yeah. Dude, those are amazing. I that's take a moment that's... and appreciate that I yeah. can use the drawing with the most. God, we're going to make yeah. it, guys. Yeah. 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 So, really? in case it Three more minutes. Video, yeah. Everyone just keep being normal, okay? Candy, uh, had to restart because their tablet wasn't working. Oh wait, somebody said, LMAO, me and my friends still do something similar. Every time one of us used a piss whore. Wait, what is a piss whore? We try to hit hit it from as far away as possible. The piss arcs, excuse me, I've seen will never leave my brain. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm talking piss videos. I'm talking shit videos. That Guys, you're missing out. You're, you're missing some crazy uh, lasting memories by not just opening up a little bit, man. Hey guys, are you, are, do you guys want to be stuck in a box forever? You know, open up a little bit, man. Take the tape off. Breathe a little bit, man. Send some piss and shit videos to your friends. Tell them Aethel sent you. Working, so she's done all these with a mouse. And that's yeah. hard for yeah. any artist. That's mm -hmm. insane. It really open is. up a little, really guys. I actually draw better with a mouse and got it apparently. That's wild. <laughs> all right, back to the video. Back to the video. Flat. Everyone be chill. For real. Be chill, man. Wow. Okay, it's our last one. This is Nyanners. Wow, she's cool. I can't even remember what mine looks like. Oh, that's so cute. Feeling mischievous. Oh, that is fantastic. That's cool. I love this. Whoa. You said you weren't going to be weird for the rest of the video. Oh, I, I, wait, I wasn't being weird, man. Hey, it's not bad, guys. This is uh, Nyanthal Stan. This is my image of what Nyanthal Stan would be like uh, if it was uh, embodied as a real person. Not the clipper, not the clipper. I'm not talking about the clipper. This is not my rendition of Nyanthal Stan, the clipper on YouTube. This is not that. This is not my rendition of clippers on YouTube. Nope. This is me and Nyan together combined. We made a doo-doo. <laughs> wow. My doo-doo looks like Mr. Beast. <laughs> is it an is air conditioning unit? Walmart? <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it looks like Rocky Horror. Yeah, it does like Rocky Horror. You can see the, you can see the crab hand. Okay. Oh, All right. So just be chill, guys. Just be chill, man. Vox's best word? Wait, wait, I think I... Let me see Vox's again. I think I kind of skipped it. Yeah, this is Vox's best one. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I, like, I like how like skeeved out he made her eyes. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I told what, me and Yan we're going to get Froyo one time. I swear to God, I said, yo, babe, the Froyo place is actually closed. I'm not joking. She made the same face. You know what she said? She said, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Little tip for you guys. When your girlfriend says, that's fine, dung dung, it's not fine. <laughs> yes. Wait, the detail on that one, though. It's not actually fine. Yeah, just like Rocky Horror. You can see the, you can see the crab hand. Oh, oh Gimi Gimi really makes everything like so like it's shaded so perfectly. Oh, that's so cute, man. So good. Would you still love me if I was a worm? <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, that one actually works pretty well. Oh, I love the sleeves. The sleeves. I mean, come on, that's so cute. Oh, man. Yeah, little bow in, in uh, Snuffy's hair is so That's cute. It. That's everything. That was so fun. Thank you, guys. Hey guys, that was incredible. Thank you so much. 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 What a great video, man. Such a creative way of using Gothic phone. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I think even though it was so chill, the mm -hmm. experience of seeing everyone else in your design in such in their own way is yeah. really cool. I agree. Like, it's yeah, such a clever idea. Uh, if you are watching at home, please go check out my friends in the author's comment below because they are all wonderful people who lent their time today and should go support them. And that's it. Bye. We did it, guys. We did it. We did a react video. We did it, man. They said React Andy on in the castle was dead. They said, Lord Aethel, you don't do any React anymore. You, you never React in the castle anymore. We did it, bros.